Welcome to Wednesdays in the Word. It's November 2nd, 2022, and I am Evan Gardner. I'm a pastor at our Shepherd Lutheran Church, School and Child Care. We are, this year, looking at 60 essential Bible stories. Today we look at Genesis 37 through 50, Joseph and the mystery of God's plans. Joseph was a son of Jacob. Jacob was Isaac's son. Isaac was Abraham's son. So from Abraham, Isaac, to Jacob, we get to Joseph. Joseph was a favored son of Jacob. And Jacob loved Joseph. Gave him a coat of many colors. Joseph had dreams of how great things were going to be. He would tell his brothers about these great dreams. And his brothers got jealous. And so his brothers... They plotted against Joseph, they put him in a pit, conversations about whether they're going to kill him or not. Eventually, they sell him into slavery. He heads down to Egypt. He's brought into Potiphar's household. Potiphar's wife makes advances on Joseph. Joseph rebukes these sexual advances. Potiphar's wife says that Joseph tried to rape her. So Joseph gets put into prison. There he interprets the dreams of a baker and a cupbearer and Pharaoh hears about it, and Pharaoh needs a leader, someone who understands how God is at work in the world. Pharaoh has a dream that uh, Joseph's able to interpret. And so Joseph's brought into the household of Pharaoh. There's seven years of plenty, seven years of famine. Egypt is prepared through this time of plenty and times of famine. And when the famine comes, the nations are drawn to Egypt because they're hungry including Jacob's sons. They head down there. There's trips there and back. There's Joseph recognizing him. They don't recognize him. Finally, Joseph reveals himself to his brothers. Oh, there's a reunion. It's companionship. It's friendship again. They bring Jacob down. They settle in Egypt in the land of Goshen. But when Jacob dies, when dad dies, now, now the brothers are worried. Is Joseph going to finally seize this moment without dad watching to exact revenge? And that's where we get to the theme verse. Every time we were looking at an essential Bible story, we're going to get to a theme verse. And this theme verse is Genesis chapter 50, verse 20. And it says, You intended to harm me, but God intended it for good to accomplish what is now being done, the saving of many lives. So then don't be afraid. I will provide for you and your children. And he reassured them and spoke kindly to them. God's plans can be revealed in the midst of the evil that is at work in this world. This is the revelation of the cross, in fact. That there at the cross, you've got sin. You've got evil. So many things at work in this world that seem like they are more than what God can handle. But the plans of God are revealed there at the cross. He is a companion with us in our suffering. He bears the pains of the world upon himself, and yet he brings redemption and resurrection. Joseph is a type of the fulfillment that happens in Jesus. We'll use that word to describe different events, persons, uh, things that take place in the Old Testament, uh, they are a type. They are a category of a thing that helps us better understand what God is doing through Jesus. As we learn the Old Testament, we see these motifs, we see these uh, events that take place, and we better understand that the plans of God are at work in this world. So why does God work through Joseph? It's an interesting thing there. God is going to preserve the promise of Abraham, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, through Judah. Judah, a brother of Joseph, is protected from the famine by the care and the ministry of Joseph. Joseph and everything that happens to him happens so that Judah is preserved. So Genesis 37 through 50, that concludes the book of Genesis. The book of Exodus is going to take a big time jump forward, about 400 years. Pharaoh no longer remembers Joseph 
and the kindness that he brought to the people of Egypt by protecting them during the famine. And instead, the new Pharaoh finds the Hebrews that have settled in the land of Goshen too numerous, and he's worried, and so he oppresses them. That's Exodus. We're making our way towards the scriptures, finding these essential Bible stories as an opportunity to see how God is at work in the scriptures, revealing the promises of Jesus Christ. Let's close our time in the word with prayer now. Heavenly Father, watch and care for us in these days as evil surrounds us. Help us to remember that we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. That in Christ Jesus, we have the love, the care, the mercy that we need to know that you are at work in this world. There's nothing that's going to separate us from you. So we can remain faithful, even in the midst of the evil that may oppress us. In the name and the promise of Jesus Christ, we pray. May the Lord lift you up this day with the confidence that you are loved, you are cared for, and you are equipped by God for this day. Because God is at work. Even if someone else is going to mean it for harm or for evil, God will still find a way to work for your care, your benefit, for the revelation of his mercy in this age. God's blessings be with you.